I'm Oz. I'm Thai, live in the United States. Today I would like to share a funny story that happened to me many, many years ago in Thailand. I don't know if anybody had experience like me or maybe it is the the general event for somebody okay let's listen to me <laughs> many many years ago i was in thailand and i like to do the medicare medicare and pedicare i i had my favorite job that just walk like one or two minutes from my parents' home because I live with my parents that time. And then the person who who did my nails, I was I was a little bit knowing her in a short while, but she was very nice. And on that day, she when she finished do, doing my my nails. She told her employer that she was going to check her email and her dating site on the internet because she was looking for a foreigner boyfriend. Then I offered myself to help her and she said her friend posting Posting her picture and her profile on the internet for a couple of years, but still nobody. And if I'm not wrong, she said she paid for her friend a little bit to do that. Then I offer my helping to her without any charge. And then I did. But... The condition was, I will not let the guy communicating direct to her until I prove in in basic like if that guy uh, if that guy had positive point of view or negative point of view, not only I will pick the one who had who had positive, and then. I got four four guys contact contacted and I communicate with them in the beginning and three of them decided to to leave because they don't understand they didn't understand why they can they could not I'm sorry about my English but I, I tried to to correct my English <laughs> too. That they, they couldn't they couldn't talk or communicate direct to the girl so they decided to leave. As I explained to them that the girl could not speak English yet. Anyway, during that time I will print and tell her in, in Thai what what the guy saying and at last one guy keep communicating with me for four months that's me I, I i was a middle person i print and then translate in thai for her what he, this what he said and then he write it, what he want to reply him and then i can contact him for her until four months I until four months that the guy said okay he would like to meet her in person but not that not really soon then I told the, the guy okay I will tell her to do something that they can communicate to each other and then I told I told the girl at least she need to to get her cell phone because that time cell phone in Thailand 
was very expensive. It's very very expensive if compared to to today. And then she got her cell phone and start learning English. And then they they can communicate direct on her cell phone for a year. I guess for a year. The guy came to Thailand, myself, and her her sister, her friend, went to the airport and see him. And on that day, at night, she asked me to stay with them because she was worrying if she can, she couldn't communicate with the guy. And I told her like I'm not comfortable, and she. She is very, how to say in English, like, she really, really asked me, please, please. <laughs> then I decided, okay, if he, if he okay with that, I will stay, and then I stay, but I couldn't sleep all night. They didn't, they didn't do anything, but. I didn't comfortable <laughs> to stay in one bed, and next day we went to the presses, look around, and at the end I was going to separate from them, but she asked me to stay with her one more night, and then I said no, I I didn't want to, and I see that you can communicate with him. Is nothing to worry because he he was very nice as he tried to understand understand her, and from that time, I just keep checking her by the phone. What's going on? Everything good? Because he he came that time and he decided that if he really like this girl, so he will not go back to his country, and then. One day, she called me, and also the same, the same. Uh, he called me. She called me two, three times after that more. She was worrying that he he couldn't understand her because they were together somewhere. And then I talked with the guy and told him about her worrying. And then the guy said, in fact. He was fine. He tried to understand and communicate with her. Just only her cell that worried too much. Then I told her she need to to be not worried too much and try to communicate with him because he was trying. And after that, I thought he went back to his country for a short while and then. Come back again or uh, something. I I don't know because I I moved to the United States and many years later I got an email from him that he was trying to get her visa and bring her back to his country. And now today I I heard about them that already together in his country with her son. Because she she has a little son too. That's it. I hope you enjoy my story and forgive me about my English. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.